going to do an experiment called Magic Milk. I'm so excited, this is gonna be fun. So first you're gonna need a dish. I have a clear one, it does not need to be clear. And it doesn't have to be very deep because we're not putting much in there. So then you're also going to need milk, any kind. Dish soap, any kind as well. I just happen to have Ajax. And you're gonna put a little bit into a container. You're going to need Q-tips. And then you're also going to need some liquid food coloring. It works best, the gel or the powders don't work. Um, so I just happen to have green and yellow, any colors and as many colors as you would like to use. So the first step is we're gonna take our milk and we're gonna pour just a shallow amount into our dish, just like that. Doesn't have to be very much. The next step is to take your food coloring and just put as many or as little drops that you want. So first I did my yellow and now I'm going to do my green. Just like that. All right, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. All right, so then I take my dish soap and a Q-tip and I'm gonna dip one end of my Q-tip into my soap and get a nice amount of soap on there. But before we do that, I want to ask you, what do you think is going to happen when I stick dish soap into my food colored milk? Hmm, what is your prediction? Let's find out. All right, so I'm going to take my Q-tip and I'm going to stick it on one spot of my food coloring and let's see what happens. Here we go. Can you see the milk moving? Maybe, oh, there we go. Now it's moving. And then you can move it around to mix up the colors and you can see the milk following the soap. Why do you think it does that? Hmm, that's a good guess. Milk has fat in it. And the soap attracts the fat and it makes it cling to the soap on your Q-tip, which you can't see happen unless you put food coloring in. That was cool. I'm glad you liked it. And watch for me again, to, and we're gonna do some more experience, experiments. Hope you had a great time. Miss you guys. We'll see you soon.